Hi guys, welcome to this video in which I will share with you settings after calibration on LG OLED 55B7V. LG's 2017 OLED TVs all share same panel technology and same processing, so tips from this video are also applicable to those models as well. Settings I'm about to show you are for watching SDR content with standard color gamut, so live TV broadcasting, internet video, Blu-ray and even some UHD Blu-ray discs on the market. So I'll open home menu and go to settings, then all the way down to all settings. And here you see different options, okay. Um, let me go first with picture mode settings and open here picture mode. So right now we're in expert bright room which is calibrated and picture is really beautiful in every way from perfect contrast, accurate colors according to Rec 709 specification, sharpness which is showing original source information without artificial sharpening but I'll talk more about that in a second. And of course white balance following D65 point, so not too cold, not too warm picture. However by default now we will see this difference, echo mode. You see how picture now appears to be too blue and uh, color gamut is too wide for this type of content. So even though it might appear as more vivid, more colorful, in fact, it's the expert bright room picture that is according, that is close to the original source material. Same goes in terms of color inaccuracy for vivid, standard, sports, game and HDR effect. So if you want to view as accurate picture as possible, go with cinema, expert bright or expert dark by default. I was surprised how accurate picture is by default, it can even be considered calibrated out of the box, which is really a great achievement for LG, especially if I compare this model to previous generations. Okay, so now let's see setting by setting for expert bright room, which was calibrated. OLED light controls overall luminance of the picture, so the higher the value, the brighter the picture will be. And as you decrease it, picture will appear dimmer and dimmer. Contrast is white level control, I set it to 85. Brightness black level control, set it to 50. Horizontal and vertical sharpness, I set at 0. But if you want to take advantage of LG's high quality picture processing, then you can increase this value and use these two controls in conjunction with super resolution for optimum effect. Color 50, tint 0. Now in expert controls we have dynamic contrast off, super resolution off, but if you want LG's processing to kick in to make for example standard definition or high definition content sharper, then increase to low or even some higher value. Color gamut auto, this works really well, so automatically maps correct gamut. Edge enhancer off, color filter off, gamma 2.2, after calibration it was very accurate. And now let's go to white balance, where we have again this year color temperature warm 2 and 2 point and 20 point uh, white balance adjustment. So with 2 points we are basically adjusting bright and dark area of the picture. So for low points red 0, green 0 and blue minus 6 and for bright area red 0, green minus 6, blue 0. Now for 20 point I did only gamma adjustment as white balance was very accurate by default and 2 point was more than enough to get it to really reference level of accuracy. So now I will just show you for different IRE levels what I did to adjusting luminance and by that I mean adjusting gamma for each level. So red, green and blue are at zero for all levels. So IRE 100 adjusting luminance 0, 
495 also 0, 490 minus 1, 485 minus 3, 480 minus 3, 475 minus 4, 470 minus 7, 465 minus 7, 460 minus 7, 455 minus 4, 450 minus 5, 45 minus 9, 40 minus 7, 35 minus 7, 30 minus 14, 25 minus 12, 20 minus 10, 15 minus 9, 10 minus 7, and IRE 5 minus 6. So gamma was lower than it should be, so through this control I managed to get it to reference level of accuracy for gamma value 2.2. All the adjustments can be copied using this option to other inputs. As you can see, it takes a few seconds to be done. And now we can go to color management system, which just as last year and years before for primary and secondary colors offer saturation, tint and luminance. And great news is that this year color management system is working correctly. So playing around with controls actually won't lead to uh, blocking and strange transitions in colors as was the case in previous years. So for color red, saturation minus two and other controls add zero. For green, saturation minus three, tint zero, luminance plus three. For blue, everything at zero and now let's see secondary colors cyan only luminance at plus two magenta everything at zero and finally yellow saturation zero tint minus one luminance plus one you cannot copy these settings to other inputs so it's best for you to do it manually for every input to get accurate result. And now I'm going to picture options where we have noise reduction, very effective filter, add off, MPEG noise reduction, not very effective, but still available for you to check with uh, highly compressed digital content. I set it to off for quality content such as Blu-ray, black level low, motion I care of and now true motion so if you want to get 120 Hertz mode with best motion resolution you need to set true motion to user the judder at 0 and the blur at 10 this will give you the best motion resolution without introducing soap opera effect if you want to adjust the amount of soap opera effect then play around with the judder control if you are into movies and you want the best movie playback, then you should disable true motion and real cinema should be turned on. If true motion is disabled and real cinema is on, you will get better uh, smoothness of movies without soap opera effect, but motion resolution will not be as good as with true motion adjusted as I've shown just before. Okay, now I can go back. Here you have applied to all inputs and you see in this description it works just for portion of controls. So again, you will have to copy settings from CMS and so on to other inputs. Reset brings everything to default. If something goes wrong, you can easily reset it here. And now let me go one step back to this menu where you have aspect ratio 16 by nine and to avoid overscan, keep just scan at on. Auto setting can sometimes introduce overscan. 
energy saving off if you play around with this option you see at minimum it will decrease luminance and if you're for example listening to music you can completely turn the screen off but I like keeping this setting at off and adjusting luminance with OLED light control eye comfort mode disabled picture test if something you see suspicious you can check it here with reference image and OLED panel settings just like last year you have pixel refresher and screen shift to avoid image retention and here you have this text so process which takes one hour you can start it once TV is in standby or you can start it right now for example So even before calibration, picture was almost calibrated. After calibration, reference quality in terms of white balance, colors, and overall contrast, which was as expected, perfect. Screen is also of high luminance. Uh, I really like how picture looks. And please try these settings and let me know how do they work for you. And if you tried something else, share with all of us so that um, we all build a base that will help us all get better quality from our TVs. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. For any questions and comments, please ask me directly or in the comment section. And I'll hopefully see you very soon. Bye!